Hey guys, it's Texas 22 Jack here. Today I want to show you guys how to set up your own little device to do tracking tests or to, to level your scope. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So you could do this in your own backyard. I recommend getting a tripod that's uh, not not a cheap tripod. A tripod that's very stable. I do have this uh, Leo Photo YB seventy five LC. This is super stable, and um, I found that when I rest my rifle in it, it returns to zero uh, really well. And um, I have this Recon two vest tripod or something similar that's super um, stable. And I recommend with this using this spike feet configuration so that it digs into the ground. That will allow you to be uh, very stable and you can just rest your rifle in it um so i have this scope mate cam i'm going to show you guys just how stable it is and if i shake it it always goes back to zero um and this is going to be our little target i think it's like 15 yards away ish so if your scope doesn't go down to 15 yards you can always use one of those uh dry fire scope adapters that allows you to uh, focus within 10 yards so i'm going to be using this um so yeah you do this with a rifle uh, or you could also use a final scope level from short action customs instead of a rifle but if you do this with a rifle i recommend of course checking making sure your chamber is empty and then um or you could use the final scope level from short action action customs uh, I do recommend putting some weights down on the tripod just to weight it down and make it more stable. But since I have my rifle on there, this weighs 22 pounds, so I don't need a weight. Um, I'm pretty much going to, we're going to look through the scope and I want to show you guys how stable this is. And then, um, yeah, I'm very excited because I can do tracking tests with this in the future and also um, level my scope using this setup without having to have a vise or a bench like a uh, bench that's mounted onto the ground on the concrete or something like i could just do this from my backyard so yeah let's do this again check make sure your chamber is empty when you're doing this now let's look through the scope and what i'm going to do as we're looking through the scope is i'm just going to tap this it's going to shake and settle and it will settle back to uh zero i've tested this before but let's look at it now let's look through the uh scope uh, this is the scope mate so i got it's turned on right now here i'll press record all right let's look to the scope now uh, i have the scope mate on here and i'm just gonna pretty much tap this to show you guys that it returns to zero as you can see right now it's uh, about the six o'clock of that small circle so i'm just gonna tap it It'll shake and then it should return back to uh to that six o'clock area and then let's pretend i'm doing a tracking test so yep as you guys can see this thing is pretty uh darn stable making sure that you know you have the spike feet and then it's actually digging deep in the ground um, so this is a little setup i have at home um, and yeah hope you guys find this helpful i'm gonna be doing some tracking tests with the razor with probably my friend snipe force and then zico tangent and all that um, you know the, just different even cheap scopes um, and just seeing how well they track and also probably going to be doing some lighting conditions tests like how how it, or how or if your zero ships from sunrise uh, from sunrise to noon and then from noon to sunset like that's your zero shift and I'm going to be using this uh, little scope cam over here just to um, gather some data and um, some track testing and comparing different optics so hope you guys uh, find this helpful and you guys can set up one of one of these in your own home in the backyard again making sure your chamber is clear right, i do have this short action customs um final scope level 
um, before I close this video, I guess I wanted to show you guys that it can be stable with this platform as well, not just rifle. <laughs> I did put some wood on my tripod just to weigh it down a bit, or you can even put concrete on your legs. Um, anyways, we'll do a little bit of a testing on here just to see how stable it is. I'm gonna turn my scope cam. Again, the target is around, or the zero is around like six o'clock-ish, right above it. So here you go. You know, you don't wanna go too crazy with tapping this, obviously. And then let's pretend we're doing tracking test. Oh yeah, that thing returned right to zero.